stepper, man. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, yes, your boy, I told a lie. It wasn't intentional, but at the end of the day, it was still a lie. And I'm going to go ahead and get straight into it right now, man. I ain't even about to, you know what I'm saying, play with y'all or nothing like that. I ain't finna drag the video out or nothing like that. I said I wasn't gonna do this, and honestly, bro, this is now the second year that we've, we're going on, what, three years of owning this car now, or the second year of owning this car, one of the two, and I'm not gonna lie. As you guys know, I went ahead and I did the, well, let me just tell y'all, let me just get right out and right out straight to the point, let me just tell y'all. So, I know I told you guys that I was not gonna be lowering this car, I was gonna be keeping it factory high. I wasn't gonna touch the suspension at all. Well, like I said at the beginning of the video and in the title of the video, I lied. I lied to y'all, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've been just going back and forth about this for the longest time. Just not 100% sure if I really wanted to touch the magnetic ride suspension and not really sure what suspension I wanted to replace it with, to be honest. So that's exactly why like, I was just like, you know what? I'll just keep it stock height, keep the factory suspension on the car, and you know, just call it a day. As you guys can tell, man, I can't even get y'all no pulls or nothing like that because it's freaking raining right now. Um, so yeah, traction is out of the question completely, completely out of the conversation. But um, yeah, I told you guys that I wasn't gonna touch the suspension and honestly, I'm just bored of how the car sits right now, man. I don't want to get a new set of wheels solely because I don't know what wheels I would replace these wheels with. The 6th Gen 1LE wheels are the cleanest factory wheels that Chevy has to offer. In my personal opinion, you know what I'm saying? Some people say it's the Z28, some people say it's the ZL1, and some people say it's the ZL1 1LE wheels um, that are, you know what I'm saying, top tier. but. For me personally, the 6th Gen 1LE wheels take the cake out of all of them, literally. Um, and you guys who've been around the channel for a minute, who were here back when I had Mamba, y'all already know, like, I bought these wheels, I bought the rep version of these wheels for my 5th Gen Camaro, just because of the simple fact that I loved how they look. So I don't wanna get a new set of wheels. Y'all already know I went with the bigger sidewall on the tires. And I'm not gonna lie, it did help, it did. You know what I'm saying? The car did sit a lot more chunky and a lot more aggressive. But I'ma be honest with y'all, bro, like, it's just not enough. I am gonna be swapping out the suspension. However, I'm not completely getting rid of the mag ride. In fact, I'm still gonna have the magnetic ride control. However, I am going to be installing lowering springs on the car. So again, for those of you who have been a part of the channel for a minute, been subscribed to the kid for a while, y'all already know I had the Mustang lowered on Eibach lowering springs. Now I'm not gonna be running the Eibach lowering springs on the 1LE solely because of that mag ride suspension. Um, once we get to the E85 station, I'll go ahead and give you guys a walk around while the car is filling up and show you guys how the car sits as of right now. We'll kind of talk about how the mag ride suspension really changes up um, the entire look of the car, how it sits compared to a regular SS, 2SS um, vehicle that's not equipped with the mag ride and then how, you know, my car sits stock. Let me give you guys some, oh, what the hell? It did it on its own. I'm about to give y'all some rip. Sheesh, nothing crazy, bro. Nothing crazy. But let's go ahead and fill up with some good heat. So this is how the front sits stock with the 35 sidewall. I'm not gonna lie, it sits pretty good. 
it's kind of higher now though solely because of the simple fact that the rear is on the 30 now instead of the 35 so my car is kind of doing like the rake look but i'm not gonna lie the 35 in the rear plus the inch and a half drop would definitely take the stance of this car to a completely different level bro i can't cap now the only thing about having the mag ride like i told y'all is it doesn't get lowered as much as the regular ss would so the lowering springs that i'm actually going to be running just finishing that up right now big 189 on that but yeah the lowering springs that i'm actually going to be running on this car bro i can't cap they're supposed to do uh inch and 50 on the regular ss's and then on the one of these they do an inch and a quarter so we'll see how it goes yes sir so let's go ahead and switch that over to my good old elote all right so right now e15 i did have 93 in the car at first um so you know just gotta drive it around a little bit that's why i love the p3 gauge just gotta literally drive normal you don't gotta like dog the car or nothing like that as you drive the gauge reads the content of e in the car and it just lets you know let's go ahead I know I'm not gonna be able to do no pull for real just because of the just because of the water on the ground. Like I already knew I wasn't gonna be able to do a pull for real, but I wanna give you guys something, you know what I'm saying? Gotta give y'all something. Can we get a thumbs up on this video for the kid trying to get you guys this content? But yeah, man, like I was telling you guys, so the lowering springs that I do wanna go with for the car are supposed to drop the car an inch and a quarter all the way around. If you do have the regular non 1LE, it is an inch and a half all the way around. I can't cap, I feel like the inch and a quarter plus the 35 inch sidewall is gonna have the fitment perfect on this car. And also, you know, whenever we're in Navasota, um, or even when I do go track this car, which I do plan on doing a lot more of this year, I am definitely gonna have a way better center of gravity with this car just because it's lowered now and then i should be able to take these corners a little more aggressively for real for real even though it already handles amazing because it's a 1le lowering it just a tad should help improve the handling even more to be honest so i'm very intrigued to see if it will or if it won't if it does y'all already know we litty but if it doesn't it's like damn you know what I'm saying? So we just gonna have to see what happens, man. Honestly, I'm not too worried about scraping or rubbing or anything like that. The only thing that does worry me is the drag pack. As you guys know, the drag pack is a big, like that's a big ass tire, man. So I do have my worries about that. But you know, at the end of the day, I'm trying to spice up the look of the car a little bit. I am about to be replacing the front splitter on the car too um and then i will be replacing the diffuser as well so it's a couple things that i got in the works as far as the aesthetic mods go but it's just time to change it up man you know we might be wrapping the car this summer the cam's going on this car probably by the end of february so a lot of changes coming to the channel man a lot of changes coming to the build i hope you guys are excited for this next level man for real as you guys can see watch this watch this watch this when Ali in in its element, bro. Dead ass, barely like barely anything to turn this joint for real and take this bend. Taking it at 55 miles an hour, nothing crazy. I mean, y'all see it, bro. Y'all see it. One Le just gonna be a one Le at the end of the day, bro. So right now, as y'all can see, we've been driving for a little bit and we're sitting at E68. Um, honestly. That's probably my favorite E spot. Um, every time I go, the content is always high. So I ain't gonna lie. I, I really just gave you guys a gym. I ain't finna tell you where it's at, but if you know, you know, you feel me? That's definitely the best location to get E85 in Houston as of right now. So if you need some E, go to that joint. No cap, thank me later. 
But yeah, man, it's at E68. Um, I'm probably gonna wrap this video up here. As you guys can see, the weather is terrible, bro. I can't really go too crazy for you guys because I'm just gonna spin. So that being said, man, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see Vader join the Low Boys Cartel. You did. The Low Boy Gang. You feel me? Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are hyped. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notifications if you don't got them on already. And as y'all can see, that E85 just keeps going up, and we love that. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.